Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Surlem Ultimate. In this episode, we are uh, gonna be handing in the Rune of Prophecies, hopefully. Hopefully we get some good luck with the, uh, the last few items that we need to complete. Um, last episode, let's actually just take a look at it. Look at it. Last episode, we got most of this stuff done. We just need to find one more Riddled Dwarf. Uh, one more uh, Buried Treasure. These things are random spawns, but usually they aren't that rare to find. You know, compared to things like Pandemonium Shrines or Nether Portals. So hopefully we get through that pretty quickly. We also gotta kill a few you know, creatures of... Uh, various classes that should just happen naturally as we play and uh, yeah it'll uh, be pretty good no additional attacks should be fine so let's dive into another random realm so last episode we also got rid of uh, a lot of our uh, redundant useless low level nether stones and unlocked two more relics, so we're making good progress on that. Uh, of course, the goal is to unlock every single relic and, you know, upgrade all of them all the way. Oh, hey, nether portal. And uh, upgrade all of the relics all the way to level uh, 100. That way, when the... what the fuck? Sorry, like these guys are always uh, weird to fight. Sometimes they don't die when it really seems like they should die. Like they just survive. Oh, now this guy's gonna give us a box, and sometimes the boxes are empty. Ooh, but there's a lot of treasure in this one. But nothing exciting. That's okay though. Um, at least, at least you tried. Let's make a donation. But yeah, I do want to eventually start theory crafting, playing different specializations, trying out different builds. But at a minimum, I'll want to have all of the relics unlocked. And, uh, you know... Are you fucking serious, man? Oh, God. Oh, you know what? Um... At least we kill them. Yeah, at, at a minimum, I want all the relics unlocked, just because they are a very important part of uh, your build. And having all of the relics available to us, is it's just a no-brainer, right? And then once all of the relics are unlocked, then any excess piety we get, we can start spending on... Uh, like, we can... There are other things that we can spend piety on at uh, the reliquary. I'll, I'll show it to you eventually, but I, I don't want to look at that, it right now because it'll tempt me to start... I tell you what, when we are handing in our Rune of Prophecies, I'll, I'll show you, right? I'll show you the, uh, the stuff at the end of the episode. But we won't actually be spending any of that until after we've unlocked all of the all of the relics. All right. Oh no, these guys should be relatively easy, maybe. No. No, they're just going to be annoying. But right. there, we, yeah. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this run. It's. Fine, I guess. Ooh, these guys have some weird resurrection synergies, don't they? But not this time. Okay, good. Okay. You're gonna jump out at me. Yeah, the less damage dealt is... And the extra defense, I think, is... Is hurting us a little bit and stopping us from killing enemies as quickly as we are accustomed to. Yeah, but we'll we'll, we'll get through it. 
Uh, surely we're close to finishing this realm. Sorry, uh, like the uh, the creatures in this realm. There's still four of them still left. Okay, pretty well populated realm. Seems like. Man, uh, it really bothers me when, oh, when enemies survive with a tiny fucking sliver of health. Come on. There we go. Get lost. Get lost, dude. There we go. Alright, we get some loot out of you. What are you? You are the Soul Flare Master. Alright. Let's be intelligent about this. Let's entangle them first. What is your thing? <laughs> no. Sorry, no. No resurrections whatsoever. some death. Oh, that wasn't quite enough, but surely this is gonna be enough. There we go. You guys are dead. Oh man, really? Ugh. These guys were pretty tough to take down as well. Three more enemies, alright. You know what? Fine, I'll do it the uh, responsible way. There's our achievement for the Soul Flare Master. A lot of a whole lot of nothing in a lot of these uh, places. The occasional chest. Hopefully there's at least one chest up here. No there isn't, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Put there as well. Alright. What? Oh you fuck! Man, what? Uh, why are you fucking blind? <sighs> That's annoying. What is? What are you? Whatever you are, you you're not blind, are you? Just checking. Yeah. Okay. Good. There we go. Sure, I'll hit one group of these guys, but I'm not in love with this realm. It's not a. Oh, hey, we do need to answer you. All right, nine meteors. Let's let's figure this out. Come on. Solem ultimate nine. Meteors is a chaos spell, evidently. That's completed that objective. That's good. Yep. Fine, let's just... Let's just go... 
Let's just go full farming mode. We need to check there. There could be a... I don't know if we went into the uh, exotic realm, did we? I th we must have. It's annoying that it like, stays on the map even though you've already finished it. Oh. Should be getting all these uh, buffs. Not that we really need them, but they do give other bonuses as well. Alright. It'd be really nice if one of you were to give me a card. I would most appreciate it. Yeah, a little bit of micromanagement. Uh, it's not... It's ultimately not even that bad. good rhythm for these fights, I think, because uh, I know where my spells are. Oh, and we, ah, we fucking did it. Let's go. <sighs> Fine. This, this, feels, this feels pretty satisfying. I'm not going to lie. And now enemies with vulnerable gain less healing. Wow, that's a fucking useless, fucking useless uh, bonus. And immediately after finding the card, I've immediately abandoned the discipline with which I was uh, fighting. I, I should still do it the proper way, because that still will be a quicker way of uh, uh, dealing with these guys. But finally, finally we have that card. More importantly, f oh no, um, go to Beast Ray. The entire first page, every single creature on the first page, the card has been obtained. Now uh, it's on to page number two, I guess. So where else do we need to go? I'll skip most of these guys. Yeah, some of them are unavoidable. Don't want to be spending too long on a single realm. Although, finding a card is pretty good. Pretty good compensation for spending a bit of extra time in a realm. I would certainly say so. I'm just gonna check to see. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've definitely already gone to the uh, exotic realm. So there's no reason not to just head on to another, uh, another boss. Well, that was a productive realm. Found a card. Completed a card set. A useless uh, bonus. But, you know, it's about the principle of the thing. Three fifty nine. Bad luck and good luck. Okay. Less stat gain, though, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll power through. Seven enemies. 
and a master. Less stat gain. Chance to resist damage. Oof. That's rough, but I think we should be fine. Because other than that, we're doing okay. And it's another boss realm, so we could even do some candle farming if we so chose. We're not being held back by any reductions to our damage, so that should hopefully help us out quite a bit in the in the final fight. Yeah, it does feel good to complete uh, that card set, just because it it had. It had taken us a bit, a bit of time, just uh, compared to all of the other abominations. It's, it's, uh, I think it's it's fine that we are a little bit extra satisfied now that it's done. Poison snare, that's good enough for me. Let's <laughs> let's just do the boss fight right now. Um, what's this thing? Creatures start with rebirth. Um, I should have done uh, an Archangel, maybe. I'll... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Doing a, b a bit of damage. Let's uh, try and entangle some more. Let's now maybe do an Archangel. And... Honestly, just uh, Maybe more Archangel, I guess. What, I, what exactly is your trade? After your creatures take damage, they gain shelled, so we should endeavor to try and kill them in one go. Kind of like this. Okay. It wasn't that bad. It took a little bit longer just because of the uh, the whole less stat gains. Ooh, the goblet is full. That's nice. That's our sixth victory against this guy. Get, a, uh, get an achievement for that. Can get can get another key as well. Why not? Three more enemies and a master remain. Let's take down the bat master. Let's see if maybe this is enough. Uh, it's, it's pretty decent. Yeah, that's that's enough to kill them. It's pretty good. Oh, I... I didn't speak to the, uh, the Soul Flare Master, did I? Yeah. Well, shucks. I'll, uh... I'm slowly becoming better at uh, this self-imposed uh, requirement that I actually read the master dialogue. Over over time, I'll uh, become more consistent about it. You know, it. It takes a while to change your habits, especially if you've had a such a firm habit for so long to just skip all of the dialogue in this game, you know? You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Better treasure out of you. 
Uh, useless netherstone out of you. Alright, some more treasure there. Okay, what's up here? Nothing. Oh, these guys are gonna get screwed. Oh yeah, they were agile, but they didn't get to move because of our realm bonus. Alright, so two enemies left. Which is fine. I tell you what, let's... Summon a few of these, and let's see if maybe we can uh, get another card. I've kind of gone back and forth on whether I want to do candle farming. It it adds a bit of color to the realms, I think. Summoning creatures other than just the ones that appear there normally. It adds a little bit to the excitement, you know? And then there's, of course, the chance of getting more card drops. That is just, uh... I mean, that that's the main thing. The uh, added flavor of seeing different creatures is a... Uh, that's a bit of a bonus. Ooh, genius. Completely... Oh, I was gonna say completely useless, but no, genius are... These guys are actually useful because they give you experience. It's the knowledgeable creatures that are kind of useless, because they uh, only give you knowledge. Oh, hey, and I think this is going to complete our Rune of Prophecies. Hang on, why, why is it not complete? So we need to kill nature creatures and chaos creatures. All right. So we should definitely do that right now. I don't know if arena combat counts. I think it might count. All the same, we need to get some nature. You are a nature creature, right? You are also nature. You are chaos. Well, let's, let's first of all... Get the... Uh, chaos creature one done. Oh, hey! We're <laughs> and we're gonna get a special skin! Well... <coughs> well, lucky day! A Kraken skin for the Apocalypse. Alright. The reason I'm eager to get this done in this realm is because then we can immediately start making uh, progress for the next Rune of Prophecies in the next realm. You know, if there are things like, like you know, if we get another portal to spawn or a uh, buried treasure, that kind of thing. Then if we don't have the next Rune of Prophecies active, we'd c kind of, you know, lose the chance to make that progress. You know, you see it? See what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? Why is my throat so dry? Jeez. Yeah, I think it's just a... It is... Like, dry in general right now. It's it's not very humid, so... Uh, that's probably... Playing a role. Hang on. There's a... Got you... This is not a great realm to be farming uh, candle enemies. Admittedly. God, okay, come on. Just because it's really, really spread out. The 
these guys are crazy, like extra defensive creatures. That's not great either. I think. Oh, I, th I thought this was gonna be some apocalypse creatures, but nope. Nothing there. All right. Well. There's some apocalypse creatures. Don't know. It's more of these guys. I guess I did summon a lot of them. There's some apocalypse creatures. Is this going to be the final one? Hopefully. Then we can start summoning uh, nature. Nope. Okay. There's... Well, there's another uh, nemesis. now deceased and not they look so alike these guys and the uh, and the apocalypse creatures you're dead okay there's the the, the final apocalypse guys down there There we go. This should give us the final one of these, hopefully. What? Oh! I guess we got that done ages ago. Okay. You know what? We probably killed the last Chaos cre Creatures we needed um, in uh, one of the uh, one of those groups of uh, one of those nemesis creatures or one of those um, you know native uh, groups of creatures that probably had the last one of those right so I guess we'll kill you as well and then we'll summon some nature creatures and how many of those do we need? Ten, exactly ten, okay. I might as well kill you. Because you're right there. So we already got a skin out of summoning people at this candle. We got a card from the uh, from the previous candle and uh felt pretty good. This is a uh, yeah okay. This is the the correct creature. We're just gonna kill ten of these. I summoned twenty of them just to make sure that we can get the ten that we need pretty quickly. Oh, oh, it's ten individual creatures, not ten groups of creatures. Ah, uh, of course, of course. That's you know, that's why I I I just completely forgot that that's how it works. So we'll just we won't even try to kill the rest of them because I wanna I wanna move on to other stuff. Let's just check to make sure that there's nothing we're leaving behind. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so we'll just kill whoever we come across on the way to the exit. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll kill one final one. Alright. First thing we will do is we will hand in our Rune of Prophecies ref uh, and renew it, like get a new list of things. What do we get? 57k, seems pretty good. 
and the new Rune of Prophecies does want us to do the Goblet of Trials. Okay, so we can do that. Pilgrimage. Life creatures. Again, this seems like a pretty decent Rune of Prophecies. However, I think next episode we might go back to the Gate of the Gods. We'll see. We will see. So that's done. And... We have a project to hand in as well. Let's hand in that project. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to roll the goblet. Let's make sure we don't need any special missions for this. Yeah, seems seems fine. So let's yeah. Start a new key forge and now I will roll this a few times on camera before I go off. So let's just hope that we get really lucky. See, this is how long it takes to roll it once. And now imagine having to roll it, like, potentially 30, 40 times. And you can see why I've taken <laughs> to doing this off-screen. And you should, you should thank me for it, you know? To be a perfectly... To be perfectly honest. All right. That's enough rolling on screen. I'm gonna do the rest of it off and off screen and I'll be back with you when we have rolled this to the animator once again. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, that didn't take too long. It took about maybe a minute and a half. Not the worst. Not the worst and I think we're all ready to go. So let's just go. This is taking a while. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but I think we'll be fine. Because it's not a boss fight, we don't need to worry about the fear debuff that much. Extra health? Should still be fine. Oh no, maybe we're not gonna be fine. Well, we killed that one guy in like one hit, but then that other guy was. I don't know. Oh, look, another piece of garbage. <laughs> Immediately finished the round quest, okay. Oh hey, we're gonna get another skin! Hell yeah! Finally, the skins are starting to come. Follower of Erebus. That's our second skin in the episode. And I'm pretty happy about that. Carbuncle. We've, yeah, I think we've completed this card set. What are you? Oh, you're just you're just giving us treasure. That's probably the master over there.
Hopefully we get a nice uh, greater dispel at the beginning. We do not. We'll do it uh, the old-fashioned way. I think this should be good enough. Indeed it was. Seventh victory against those guys. Gives us another achievement. Lovely dispel from the white. And these guys are taken down as well. We've done enough. There we go. Nothing in either of those chests. That's fine. That's fine. Are we... Do we have enough? I think we might have enough. Yeah, just barely. Good. Now let's make sure we've finished this area. Let's take a look at the Rune of Prophecies. We do need to find buried treasure again. Okay. All right. Grab that. Grab all of this, and it's annoying that this doesn't connect, but you know what? Sometimes that's just how the uh, the realm generates. Not really much you can do about that. Not sure what's going on with these guys, but uh, clearly whatever plan they thought they had didn't really work too well for them. We didn't even get a chance to do anything other than the uh, the corpse explosions, which technically we did, but it wasn't a uh, it wasn't you know a, a manual action that I took. It was just automatic stuff. one group of those just to see what sort of damage we're doing. You know what, Cause since we're basically done with this realm and since the exit is right there, I'll, I'll summon more of them. But we'll only kill the ones that are on the way. Oh no.
this might have been <laughs> this might have been a bad idea. Jeez, look, look at how look at how slow this is. We, we didn't even kill that one guy because we hit him so many times. He became immune. He became immune to damage. Well, we're... Luckily, our animatus in trash mob fights is immune to the fair debuff that the rest of our creatures have. So we can do a bit of this action. And then win a lot more easily than we would have otherwise. But yeah, this is not a this is not an efficient way to farm. Still we got a we got a few few kills in, a few shots at getting this card, a few bonus uh, bonus shots. Kill these three. Might as well, you know. I think we're just gonna head out after this. Ah, uh, I'll kill. I'll kill a couple more, man. I'm, I'm completely going back on my on my word about cutting down on candle farming. I don't know. I am just too addicted <laughs> to candle farming. Maybe I I, I probably. I probably have a problem. Need to find a support group. See, the trouble with candle farming is that when you're at the end of a realm, you've done everything else. You, you're summoning enemies at the candle. The only possible thing you could find is this one card and this one card only. Right? And the problem with that is, like, that's the only thing, you couldn't, you couldn't find anything else, you couldn't find any other card. You might find a skin, okay, you're not gonna find nether stones. Whereas, if you're doing regular realms, and just encountering loot, you could find random cards, you could find random nether stones, you could find skins, you, like the... Your prospects for... Finding good things are just so much better. So even if we've gone a few rounds without finding any substantial number of cards in random loot, I think we should still maybe ease off on the candle farming for a little bit. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Rest of this episode, no more candle farming. Aeolian rules over the meadows. What are you, what are you? You are probably the master in this realm. So let's uh, let's talk to you pretty quickly. The gargoyle master. All right. And you are just, you're just dead, my friend. You you are just dead. 
Sucks to be you. That's our eighth victory against that particular master. Alright. Now you're dead as well. Nothing in either of this, uh, those chests. That's okay. Nothing there. Alright. Then down there. Dumpling. I believe we do need to encounter Dumpling. I'm gonna be true to my word. I'm not gonna summon anybody at the candle. I'm just gonna do the uh, the realm stuff and, and that's it. It is so tempting though, right? Let's just summon one group of these to see what combat against us is like. Oh hey look, and we can summon another dumpling. It's still kind of slow against them, isn't it? Yeah. It's still not great. So that'll be, I think, it. Maybe, like, summoning one group of candle enemies is fine. While we're clearing the rest of the realm, like, we definitely shouldn't be staying in a realm where we've already finished everything else. Just to... And just to kill enemies at the candle. That, I think, is probably not the, uh, the way to do this. Nothing there, either. Oh, I... I didn't talk to the the master, did I? Uh, well, it's okay. I'll I'll remember. I'll remember the next round. Will I though? <laughs> Will I though? I'd give myself a sixty-three percent chance of remembering to talk to the next master in the next round. Also, how long have we been going? Forty-eight minutes. Yeah, we can we can do. Another realm. I really want to fight uh, Nebodar again. When is Nebodar coming up? 11.34. We are in 32. So, we have to go slightly longer if we want to fight Neb Nebodar again. I think we might just do that. We might just do that. Which means no more candle farming. All right. Do that. Hey, and that gave us another favor rank. Treasure from all sources. Another, uh... 
another stone for us to recycle eventually. Done. I think we're done. Looks like we're done. I'll just quickly hit this and jump into a new realm. 350. Uh, no, man. Sorry. No. I'm not gonna deal with resurrections. Silence. <laughs> That's potentially annoying. But you know what? Let's let's just go for it. I I should have kept rolling. Silence is actually a pretty pretty bad debuff to have. Why aren't we... Oh, because somebody has scorned us and they have extra traits. Well, this is a... <coughs> this is a piece of garbage realm. Yikes. What? But why are we... I mean, I'm... I don't mind being scorned instead of silenced, but... What is causing this? Because the realm properties say we're silenced, but two battles in a row we have not been silenced and instead we have been scorned. Is this gonna... Yep, no, we're just... We're just, uh, we're just scorned, it seems. Is there a bug or is it a Nyx... Like a Nyx fusion thing that's causing the fuck off dude this time we're silenced but we are resisting the silence no idea what's going on This time we are not resisting the sap. I I'm just completely at a loss. Powerful adversary. This time we're scorned. All right. Okay. That piece of garbage has come back to life, but you're dead again. Oh, hey, another stone just lying on the ground with no traits. That's okay. Treasure golem. Oh, a Xanti fight as well. Oof. Just want to make sure that we're gonna kill this guy. There's no honor in that. You're, you're, you're probably right. You're probably right. We'll come back for Xantai later, just because. Just in case he somehow manages to kill us. Let's uh, get the rest of the realm done first.
This time, we are not resisting the silence. But there's a bunch of nonsense going on. Oh my god, stop, dude. Oh my god. Just, you can see why I hate extra traits. So, look, look, what, what was this nonsense? What was this nonsense? Oh. I didn't even realize that there was a... There was an NPC there. Okay. The White Master. Simply put, Whites refuse to die. Accurate. I can assure you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You won't be winning an army against my immortal. Uh, battle against my immortal army of the dead. I mean. Probably. I probably will win. But I admire your confidence. What? Oh no. Oh no. The next fusion. The fucking next fusion. All right. The. Luckily, we had enough uh, offense to take them. Th take them out. Fucking die, dude. What man? Fu wow! Fucking fuck off, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? Just in case they fucking come back, let's just... Oh my god, how do you... How do you, how do you have that much health, man? How do you fucking have that much health? Finally, Jesus. That was annoying. Do we do we get an achievement for it? Oh my god. Fuck off, dude. Oh, fuck off. Pieces of actual garbage. Fuck off. Fucking fuck off, dude. Uh, they've copied our. Sp they've fucking copied our spell. That was annoying. Every time we still have a Zantai fight, Jesus. Oh my god, stop. Stop. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. So annoying, in fact, that I'm gonna start doing Blank Slate, because fuck this nonsense. Fuck this nonsense. <laughs> that, that guy was invisible and we punched him anyway. I bet he thought he was safe. Nobody is safe from the, uh, rabid dementia. The rabidly demented. Oh god, this is dumb. But whatever, I'll try to kill them. Oh, are you fucking serious? Are you serious? 
with this bullshit. Like what? Fuck off, dude. Ugh. Yeah, just, just, just die. Jesus, man. Come on. Yeah, this, this realm is uh, starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Now here's the thing, Xantai could have one of those Nyx fusions that prevents us from gaining stats, meaning the fight could essentially be unwinnable. If he has the Starless fusion, then there's going to be nothing we can do. Should we take the risk, or should we just go home? And we're going to be silenced at the start as well. I say well, before we before we attempt a potentially unwinnable fight. Let's do this. Right, so we've gotten every advantage we possibly well, not quite. Now we've gotten every advantage we can possibly get from the realm. Why is it going so slow? All right. Okay, that's interesting. Before you die, you cast three spells. Before you die, you cast three spells. Creatures deal whatever. Your creatures deal whatever, your creatures deal whatever, your creatures deal whatever. You've got some temporary traits. Well, let's fuck off, dude. Let's get... <laughs> let's get rid of the temporary traits. Dude, like, we need to fucking take a turn, right? Like, oh my god. We need to fucking get a turn, dude. Oh my god. I think this might be an unwinnable fight. Or is it? Man, I don't even... I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, what? I, like, I, I need to take... My animatus keeps losing his turn. I haven't taken a turn... in fucking ages. Eventually... My dread white is going to run out of resurrections. Like...
Okay, I think maybe now we can take uh, uh, somebody can take a turn. The man, come on! Fucking come on, dude! See, my animatus is frozen. He's turned to stone. He's confused. Finally, I do some damage to them. Some, most of them are going to come back, right? Most of them, most of them are coming straight back. All right now, the thing to do at this point: greater dispel or contagion. Fifty-fifty chance of it not working. Uh, greater Dispel is sealed, but we have another Greater Dispel. Uh, Rapid Dementia could just end up killing us. Mutagen. Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing. Cause I will cast defile and hopefully this doesn't backfire oh no I cast a wrong spell I, need, I wanted to cast contagion the, the thing that gives them debuffs oh god I need to get another turn I wasted my turn okay there we go did did contagion backfire Well, it's just you and me, Cherub. Okay, what the fuck? That was wild. I have no idea how we won. But that was fucking crazy. All right. And how long have we been going? It's an hour and eight minutes. I still want to fight Nebadar. God damn it, I still want to fight Nebadar. So let's just fucking do it. Jeez. Jesus, man. What a. F what a nightmare fight. Healing every turn. We could blight this motherfucker to death. Enemies are fused with elves, which is pretty annoying. Oh no, okay. Um, yeah, let's make him immune to attack damage. So he all, we already have a debuff to our indirect damage. And the chance to resist damage as well. Okay, this is going to be an annoying, an annoying realm. Creatures have burst out, and now they're dead. That was a bit of, bit of slowdown, I think. Hopefully it didn't... Hopefully it wasn't too noticeable.
Alright, let's do this. Sure, let's give him a, another chance to resist damage. Ugh. This is going to be a hideous fight. What do you- The Cockatrice Master. Make no mistake, cockatrices are weird. But isn't everyone a little odd in their own way? They like to make other creatures feel welcome no matter who they are. Such inclusion translates into brilliant teamwork in battle as well. Well, isn't that just lovely? Oh my god. This is a... This is gonna be... Okay, come on, just, just, just win, please, thank you. Ooh, treasure golem. Aha, uh -huh. caught you. And you're dead? But you didn't give us anything. Right, that's fine. Protected. Oh my god, this is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Oh, but they didn't resist any of our damage. That, that was nice. Yeah, you can always give us critical damage. Don't really, I'm not really that bothered. Yeah, give us a bit of damage over time. All right. Okay, three enemies left. Okay, and I uh, think we're uh, close to wrapping things up, maybe. This should be the final enemy, I think. No, there's one, there's one left. Okay. That's the uh, nemesis fight. Sorry, the uh, false god fight. Whenever we're ready for it. But let's just make sure we're done with this realm. Which we are not. Okay. there. Well, you've summoned another nemesis creature from that. And we get a mimic. Alright, that's... Oh, this reminds me. We've got to... We've got to summon the dumpling. 
which again I completely forgot. Oh, he's gonna take the blight damage regardless because we've blighted him as a realm property. Okay, that that's good. I mean, I'll try not to kill him with blight, but he might end up dying to it just because, uh, like, if he's taking his turns, then he's gonna be taking the damage, and then then there's just nothing he can do about that. All right. Let's uh, let's do this. Nebodar, my dude. Oh, but maybe he's not even gonna get a chance to take his turn. Oh, oh, but I don't want. We made him immune to Indra? Uh, no, he has a... The realm makes him... Uh, makes our indirect damage less uh, effectual. But I think he can still take spell damage. I don't think there's anything stopping us from doing this. Easy win. He didn't even resist that much of our damage. That's great. Okay. Nothing in this. Nothing in that. And the heaping treasure. First of all, we get an anointment. Oh, I got so excited. I thought maybe this was fire starter because I saw the F. But it wasn't. It wasn't Firestarter. Jesus, man. I don't know, let's, let's take conflagration. What is our heaping treasure? Nothing, just a small amount of reputation with the guild. It now takes us to level 450. And we get something from the realm as well. It's nothing exciting either. Okay. Where's the, uh, the exit? Exit is there. Well, you know what? Since this is our final realm... Let's see how these guys are doing. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of doing more of these, so I'll just kill two of them, I guess. Yeah, I don't want them resisting my damage. I guess we completed a prophecy task out of that. Yeah, we're just gonna head home. We're gonna call it good. Okay, let's reflect on what we accomplished this episode, but first, let's uh, set a new bounty. We're gonna stick with Nebadar. Oh. It's a clean 15%. For all of these. And I think 90% is the limit, which makes sense, right? <laughs> you can't reduce damage taken by 100 Like, you can't make yourself immortal, so it would have to cap eventually. So if 90 is the cap, then... Uh, so 90 divided by 15 is 6. So we are one-sixth of the way there. If we multiply 450 by 6, if we make it to level 2700, assuming it stays at the same scaling, then we'll hit we'll hit the uh, the 90 percent. Maybe we'll get there eventually. 
but who knows? We, we might eventually <laughs> start doing something else. Once we go past 50%, we might start doing something else. Anyway, let's set, 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 uh, let's set another bounty with Nebodar. Now, let's reflect on what we accomplished. Well, first of all, we found uh, a single card, which took us through 519. But more importantly, more importantly for me anyway, that was the final card on page one of the bestiary. And uh, now we move on to page two, which is a lot emptier looking <laughs> than page one. Um, but you know, we'll we'll fill all those pages eventually. It'll happen. We also got uh, well, like we didn't get anything for it, but we had a really brutal fight against Zantai, which honestly I didn't think we were gonna win. Somehow we won, mainly because our animators just had so many defensive buffs going on that, or like uh, like defensive uh, bonuses that they weren't able to do damage to it. So we hung around, and then eventually they killed themselves, and you know, corpse explosions, and so on and so forth. But that could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. I'm glad we won, though. <laughs> it, it felt pretty good. And then we fought Nebadar. He didn't really give us what we wanted, but you know what? We're going to keep on going after him until he does. Let's take a look at some of our recent achievements. What do we get? We beat the Ceaseless Gladiator. Uh, basically, we've just been beating masters, and we've been beating nether bosses. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, it for now. I'm gonna take a couple days off from this game, I think. So, there are a couple days left in this, uh, uh, in, in skin week. And I would love, I would very much love to, uh, do some more skin farming, but I don't think I'm going to be able to play for the next couple days, so by the time I come back, it's probably going to be in another bonus in, in, in another week. But you know what? I put in a lot of episodes this week, so I, I feel like I've done my part. And we did get some skins right at the very end. Would have been nice to get, you know, more skins as we played, but you know what? That's just, that's just RNG for you. But yeah, that's the plan for the future. Oh, also when I come back, um, we're not going to be doing regular realms. We are going to be going to the Gate of the Gods. Let me just take a look at something. We are up to 300 keys. Oh, and by the way, um, if we look at... Uh, we, ha we, we have more keys than what... Or the capacity to have more keys than uh, what you might think. Because if we go to currency, we can spend our uh, emblems on keys. So we've got a whole bunch of emblems with any of the gods that we've beaten, really, right? Like Aeolian or Apocrynox, who we've gone and we've beaten them 40-ish times. We can now spend some of those emblems to get some of these keys. So... Let's assume, okay, we need to spend maybe a hundred emblems on buying things from their shop. That still leaves f like 560 emblems for keys. That's like 28 keys. Or like, uh, let, let's, let's, let's just say for like 500 emblems per god will be left for buying keys. That's, that's another 25 keys per god that we've dealt with, right? So, uh, we have more keys than what might be initially apparent, but still, I want to have, uh, we don't have enough, right? Because we not only have to beat all the gods, but we also have to ascend all the specializations, and for that, we're going to need, like, a like a ton of keys. But yeah, that's, that's all plans for the future. But yeah, that is going to be all for this episode. Um, hope you had a good time. It was a... <sighs> I I hope you enjoyed watching that Zantai fight because man like my my brain <laughs> my mind was starting to go by the end of that fight. I had no idea what was going on. Honestly, I was hoping 
that the game would just kill my party because I was like, we're gonna die anyway, so why bother with this? Somehow we won, which which was good. That was a, that was a weird, weird one. But yeah, that's that's probably the highlight of this episode, if I'm being honest. Uh, but for now, though, my like my 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 mind is ready to shut down. I, I need to take a break. But yeah, that's going to be all for this one. Hope you uh, enjoyed the episode. Hope you had a good time. Hope you'll join us for the next episode, which is when we'll uh, be doing some Gate of the Gods action. It'll be a good time. Uh, and until then, take care.